This morning in Greenfield, the community is in recovery after the severe weather on Tuesday. At this hour, here are the three things you need to know about the aftermath. We know now four people have died in Tuesday's storm. At least 35 people were also hurt. The Joint Unified Command says the number of injuries is likely higher. And on Wednesday, Governor Reynolds added more counties to her disaster proclamation today. She's set to survey storm damage with the FEMA administrator. The governor says she is seeking federal aid and is optimistic of the White House granting it. We're, we're going to be aggressive. Um, you know, we can turn these around uh, fairly quickly. And so uh, I'm, I'm sure, especially after looking at the uh, amount of devastation, the community is flattened and the debris. You know, if we qualified uh, in, in Pot County and in, in probably in Shelby, we're going to we're going to qualify again. That presser with FEMA and Governor Kim Reynolds is set to start within the next 15 minutes. And that's where we find our local fives, Megan McPherson, for a preview of that. Megan. Connor, good morning. FEMA Administrator Deanne Criswell is expected to hold a press conference, as you mentioned, alongside Governor Kim Reynolds and other local officials here in Greenfield in just under 15 minutes. We actually just saw Reynolds, Criswell and other FEMA officials leave from the school here and head out into the city to survey some of the damage across town. Now, also reiterating that Reynolds has um, asked for a, an expedited presidential disaster declaration from the White House to be able to get that FEMA funding, not only for Greenfield, but also for the other 31 counties in Iowa that have been impacted by the storms. We're hoping for an update on that approval, whether or not that funding will be granted or not in that press conference coming up in just under 15 minutes. We have crews here in Greenfield throughout the day. We'll continue to cover the recovery and cleanup efforts here. But for now, Connor, I'll send it back to you. Again, thank you. Tuesday's tornado became the deadliest in the country so far this year. That's according to NOAA. Local 5 has been on your side in Greenfield, like Megan just mentioned, since Tuesday, talking to those affected. And while the exact number of homes and buildings that were destroyed here has not yet been determined, very little of this city, unfortunately, is left. One key piece of information we learned yesterday, the Adair County Memorial Hospital, which serves this community, sustained significant tornado damage. The hospital released a statement yesterday saying that the damage required staff and patients to be evacuated from the facility. You could hear debris and things breaking. And then um, I said, okay, it's here, mom. And then the house started shaking. My ears started popping. I said, oh, my ears are going. We're, we're hit. We're getting hit. Came up to the door and all we could see was this and we were shocked. Wow, both Robin and her mother Edith had to be pulled out of the home by rescue crews and a family just outside of the city took a direct hit on Tuesday, bringing a 94 year old family farm to the ground. The Queck family tells Local 5 they huddled under a blanket, shielding themselves from falling bricks. When the storm passed, they saw a five generation farm gone. Isn't a single building left. Everything is there isn't a board on top of another anywhere on this farmstead. The family is now leaning on each other and those nearby finding positivity. They say it's a new chapter, one they're interested in seeing what happens next.